Welcome back, Blade Lovers. This old sword is with you once again. And I have an interesting knife from Artisan today. It's called the Jungle. That's all it's called. Call it a Jungle Tonto if you want. <laughs> this uh, was preceded by some versions in D2, I think, with um, in about the $50 range, I think. This one comes in at 110 and is a pretty good bargain because they decided to elevate the materials so that we now have, yes, S35VN and some interesting ventilation there in the blade inside that fuller. Not sure if it serves a purpose. I'm told we can't say it breaks the vacuum because fullers aren't supposed to do that. That is a old, old wives tale of warriors. Old warriors tale, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we've got that interesting feature. There's the artisan logo. There's the artisan logo on the pivot in a nice blue. I'm not sure if that's a... Yeah, that's not a titanium pivot, that's for sure. And look at all the ventilation we got in the handle, so it kind of matches. I don't know who the designer was. I think it's an in-house design from Artisan. We have a really nice solid carbon fiber. Pretty sure it's not a laminate. No, nope, it's not a laminate because I see it down here too. But it's kind of in your your regular plain weave for as far as um, as far as carbon fiber goes. We have what it looks like a G10 backspacer that terminates on the pommel in a lanyard hole. Quasi deep carry clip. Gives you a little bit to hang on to there if you pull it out of your pocket. It is a um, polished spring steel clip. Nothing fancy, but sometimes those are the best. We have a drop point tanto. <clears throat> Almost looks like a spear or an arrowhead. Very aggressive. Really nice jimping. Effective. Long enough thumb ramp. And if you want to come all the way back here, you can do that pretty easily, too. And all in all, everything lines up. Pretty straight blade. Liner lock. On bearings. Very drop shutty. Right out of the box. I think I've opened and closed it about 20, 30 times. And now it's uh, the action is virtually tuned. Now... Let's grab some measurements real quick. So this is kind of the premium version of the jungle, and the jungle is probably a knife, back out a little, <clears throat> that you previously haven't heard of, but you might have one. So uh, we're falling just short of 9 inches, like 8 and 7 eighths, and almost a 4 inch blade seven or excuse me three and seven eighths with a cutting edge of about three and three quarters we've got a handle thickness in inches of 0.55 not bad for a big old knife blade stock in millimeters of 3.7 finally and this is not a weight relieved knife. There is no skeletonizing inside whatsoever. That was sort of the thing during the era where these were being built a couple of years ago, originally. And there we have a heavy knife, 6.27 ounces. Kind of what I sus suspected and expected, just from feeling the heft of it. It's a solid, heavy knife, so if you like solid, heavy knives, I mean, it's not ridiculous or anything. It's narrow enough to where you put that six ounces in your pocket and you're not going to really notice it. I don't think. 
In your gym shorts? Uh, yeah, I think so. But in your jeans pocket, your 5.11s, your work pants? Probably not. And it almost disappears completely except for that blue anodized scale screw at the end. Now this was built during the time when Artisan was also coming out with knives in D2 like the Zumwalt about the same size knife and the littoral or literal also about a four inch blade about nine inches long kind of a little family of heavyweight non-weight relieved knives except for this one the Zumwalt they did put some holes in there and it does feel a little lighter than the rest. How does it stack up against the Rat 1? That's an important question. Very close. Looking overhead, not from the camera view, we've got about the same overall length. And I think that is because... No? About the same length handle, too. So interesting. What do we have for a blade length on the Rat 1? I should know. Yeah, it's shorter. It's like uh, 3 and 5 eighths. So it must be the way that the blade is hinged or set up, where we end up with a longer blade there. get an overall length for comparison actual inches so about eight and five eighths overall so it's a shorter knife why does it look as though it is the same that's very interesting yeah now you can see the difference right there about a half inch longer roughly on the jungle. Taking another closer look at the jungle. It's a nifty Tonto if you like Tontos. That is a look at the swedge. It looks faceted. All flat ground. So flat here, flat here. And it's not that high a grind, but it did come through quite sharp. I can feel it. It's got that smooth grabbiness to it. Micro teeth, they call them. Blue pivots on both sides, T8. About half a backspacer. Exposed liners. Quite thick. Good lockup. I'd say that lockup's about 50%. Perfect blade alignment, perfectly centered, and uh, quite a bit of blade for the handle. Probably what's given us that extra length over the Rat 1. So, might be something you're interested in. White Mountain has got them for $110, less $11 for a 10% discount using Old Sword as your discount code. Brings it down to about $99, bucks, not bad, for S35VN and carbon fiber. And uh, they do have the less expensive model still out, too, I think. Nope, not on White Mountain. Not sure who's got those, but uh, there is a budget level on this. This comes close to budget, but it's over a hundred bucks, so we're not going to call it budget. But there you go. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. We'll be back with you soon.